Hi everyone, so in today's video we're going to be going over what the groups and what the periods represent on the periodic table. Now the group on the periodic table represents the number of valence electrons. So we're going to look at a periodic table to discuss this a little bit further. So here we have the periodic table of elements. Now again, I just want to direct everyone's attention to this key right here. Now in the key, the element symbol is that one letter symbol to represent the element. So for example, if we're looking at in the key, H is representing hydrogen. The atomic number, so that's usually right on top of the element symbol, and that tells us the number of protons you have. So in this case, hydrogen has one proton. And the atomic mass, that's basically um, how much matter is in the element. So your atomic mass is the sum of the num the average sum of the number of protons and neutrons. So in this case, it would be 1.01. .01. For our purposes, we're really focused on the element symbol and the atomic number. We don't really focus on the atomic mass. Now, let's get back to uh, the groups. So as we said, the groups are our columns. So this right here would be group one, this right here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, you'll notice that I missed everything in the middle. So when we mean everything in the middle, we're talking from here to here. Those are called our transition metals. Now, they're definitely important. Uh, you'll notice a lot of really important metals are in our transition metals for existence. We have iron, we have cobalt, nickel, copper, silver, uh, gold, mercury. So these are a lot of important metals. But with respect to looking at the number of valence electrons, the transition metals get a little bit complicated. So for our purposes, we kind of ignore them. So again, the group number tells us the number of valence electrons we have. So if we're looking at this group right here, so group number two, everything in this period, uh, everything in this group is going to have two valence electrons. And to prove that, I'm going to draw beryllium and magnesium, and we'll see what's what. So the first element we're going to draw is beryllium. Beryllium has an atomic number of four, so that means it has four protons inside of our nucleus. So if it has four protons, that also means it has four electrons, because on the periodic table, our elements are in neutral form. So on our first shell, we are going to draw two electrons. And on our second shell, we will draw the remaining two electrons. So this is beryllium. Now we're going to draw magnesium. So magnesium has an atomic number of 12 protons. So 12 is going to be in our nucleus. On our first shell, we can only fit two electrons. On our second shell, it has a maximum of eight, so we'll draw eight there. And on our last shell, we'll draw our remaining two electrons. So here we have our model for magnesium, and you'll notice that both elements have two electrons on their last shell. So that's your group number. So now we're going to talk about periods. Periods on the periodic table are the rows, and they represent the number of electron shells or electron orbitals. Now, a lot of the time, you might see shell or orbitals written, written, they mean the same thing. So electron shell, electron orbital, it's the exact same thing. So we're going to go back to the periodic table and take a look at this. So if we're looking at our rows, this would be our first row, second, third, fourth, fifth, 
then we have six and our last one our seventh. Now again these are telling us how many shells we have in total. So we're going to do the same thing like we did before but in this case we're going to look at beryllium which is in row number two and magnesium which is in row number three and look at how many shells they have. As we can see, beryllium, it was in period two, so it has two shells, the inner shell being the first, and the outer shell being the second, whereas magnesium, it was in period three, so it had three shells, the inner shell, the first, the middle shell, the second, and the outer shell, the third. So in summary, groups are the columns of the periodic table. They tell you how many valence electrons the element has, whereas your periods are the rows on the periodic table, and they tell you how many electron shells or electron orbitals you have. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped.